So as a reminder, you're going to start with your LCPS Go, like we do for most things. You need to find your Library Resources tab, which will look exactly like this one. Click on that. It's going to open up all your library resources, which will look different than mine. But And what you're looking for is that green Follett Destiny, because that's the card catalog. And when you click on the card catalog, it'll take you into the whole big list. You just want Cardinal Ridge. Hit Cardinal Ridge. And you're going to get something that looks a lot like this. It's just the generic catalog. Hit Login. And this is where being logged into LCPS Go comes in super handy because all you're going to need to do is hit this blue bar and it will log you in with your lead, your LCPS lead credentials. So simply hit this bar and it will take you into Follett Destiny. So once you're actually in the catalog, this is your generic search screen. You may not have as many details on your screen as mine. That's fine. Yours will have library search and destiny discover. You want to make sure that this is the search bar you're using. And you can see you can search by any keyword, title, author, subject. The thing to really be aware of in this screen is that you are searching the Cardinal Ridge Elementary School catalog. Um, we're not doing interlibrary loans this year. So you need to make sure whatever it is you're looking for, we actually have it in our collection here. Um, so for example, again, if I wanted to look up a particular book. I'm going to put that title in. It shows me that we do have it in our collection. However, it's not available right now. Zero of one, zero of anything means that all those copies are checked out. Looks like this one's also in Mac and Via, which would mean if you're using it as a class read aloud, you could always check that out and it, through Mac and Via, and you can project that, read out loud, record, um, or tell the kids that's where it is if you have a, a student that's looking for it. If something's not available, you can put it on hold as, as an educator. However, because of the way we have to quarantine and take returns on books this year, the kids aren't being held as closely to a one, two, three week time frame. So if something's checked out and it's with a student, we may not get it back processed and on the shelves for four or five weeks. So if you are looking for something and it says zero out of one, you're better off trying to find something else that can meet the same needs as what you were looking for. So for example, if what you really just want is something from this author with your class, I would recommend looking up the author. You can see here, we've got a bunch of Chris Colfer. Coming down here, you can see the whole, we have pretty, we have his entire collection. So if this is the book you decide you want, you see that there is one available. Just click on the title. It's going to show you the information about the book. And then you want to hit hold it. So you're going to hit the hold button. Is this what you're asking for? Yes. Hit save. And it's now on hold. So what that will do is if someone else is looking for it, it now says it's not available. And I know where to find that in the destiny. If you're looking for just a particular um, subject, let's say you're getting ready to do some winter stories, you can always just put that in. You're going to get all kinds of options. And it's the exact same process. As long as it's available, hit the title, put it on hold, say yes, and you're good to go. That tells me that that's there. Um, there is a second step that you will then need to do, and that is filling out the Google form that alerts me that you have something on hold so that I can fulfill that for you. Okay, guys, that should be it. Make sure that you have filled out the Google form and submitted the Google form. Uh, that gives me sort of the alert that there's something on hold for you so I can keep an eye out for it. The students are using the same hold feature in Follett Destiny for book bus and concierge pickup and now hybrid classroom delivery. So there can be a lot of titles in there, a lot of names. I want to be sure that if you're requesting something for use with your classes, 
then I'm on the lookout for it so that I can find it and get it fulfilled for you as quickly as I can. If you have any questions, as always, just feel free to email me or Ms. Lane and we will help you as much as we possibly can. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.